<laughs> hello, hello, how are you? I am back again and I thought I would do a really quick video all about, let me roll up my sleeves for this one, um, all about one of my favourite fig based fragrances. Now, if you have watched some of my fragrance videos before, I love fig, I love that greenness, I love that milkiness, that freshness, just that kind of leafy green milky fig. I just think it's such a beautiful accord. It's warm, it's comforting, it's fresh, it's kind of unisex, it's got a touch of sweetness. There's just something about it which I really, really, really love. It's not used, I don't think, in enough fragrances. There are some iconic fig fragrances around, like Jo Malone's Wild Fig and Cassis, which you can now get as part of the Regent Street collection. It was discontinued for years, but it is back now, but if, only if you go to Regent Street. I also love the Shea and Blue one, which is Dandelion Fig. That's also absolutely gorgeous. I've done a video about that one, and I also love Diptyque's Fig. Now, this is another fig which I truly love. I've been wearing it for years. This is like, I think my second bottle. It's brand new. I did run out, so this is me getting a new bottle. I'm super excited about it. It is by Clean Reserve. I don't know if you know them, but they are a really, really, really nice niche perfumery, which are really centered around ethics and sustainability and just being clean and fresh and sustainable and natural and lovely and just good for you, good for the earth and just good. I mean, the word clean, it is all about cleanness. Cleanness in scent, cleanness in impact sustainability, all those kind of things. So here is the box. I have already unboxed it, but I did want to show you what it looks like. It's really beautiful branding. And I think the branding is really like, it really reflects who they are. So yeah, I wanted to kind of show it to you. So this is called Citron Fig. It's by Clean Reserve. It is an eau de parfum. It's in the citrus green family, and it is inspired by free spirited confidence that awakens when you realize your true potential very nice and it contains notes of fig, cardamom, copia oil and sandalwood and also if you want you can wear it alone which is what I do or you can pair it with other fragrances in the collection a little bit like Jo Malone's fragrance combining and you can pair it with suede oud which is a really lovely fragrance by them it's kind of like oudy but softer and a little bit more textured it's lovely it's really really beautiful there's also Blonde Rose that you can combine it with. It is, I find Blonde Rose, it's quite a white rose rather than a red rose, so I like it, but I don't love it. And also Cell Santel, which I don't know, but it is another one of the fragrances in the collection. Personally, I do wear this one alone, but if you do like to fragrance layer and kind of like, you know, be the perfumer, it is an option. So <laughs> I'm gonna unbox it, we're gonna do it together. Now, like I said, I have worn this perfume. It's not like a brand new first impression unboxing. I like I was wearing it today, quite frankly. I can't even pretend. But I did really want to just show you the box. Also, on the inside, there is um, information about their sustainability, which you can read all about. But basically, they use sustainable ingredients, clean inspirations, and you can learn how your purchase of this fragrance is giving back to the world, which is very nice. Eco-conscious mission, please reuse this box to store your clean reserve fragrance. And then I think after that, you could probably recycle it. Here is the fragrance. I really love the branding, like I said. I just think it's really beautiful. It's really like minimal, it's very modern, it's very, it's very millennial. And I do think the wood top is really beautiful as well. Um, this is a 100 ml fragrance, and let me just check the price. So for a 100ml fragrance, it is £82, and you can buy it from a variety of places. I usually go to Space NK because I love me a bit of Space NK. And also, additional notes, it does contain lemon, fig, mandarin, ginger, cardamom, mint. Um, oh, and it's unisex as well, just in case you're wondering. So here it is. I'm already wearing it, but I'm going to spritz some more because I love it so much. So it's so beautiful. Oh, God, it's gorgeous. Oh, I love it, so nice. So you do get that lemony freshness, as you would imagine, it's very clean, it's very crisp, it's very natural, it just feels, just feels so good. 
so plucked from nature. It's really like a bright, fresh, bright, fresh lemon. It's really, really pretty. There is that kind of that milky green leafy fig. It's really beautiful. There is a hint, a hint only of mint, which I didn't ever notice until, until I read it, but actually it's kind of like a very leafy mint. It's very fresh, it's very subtle, like you almost don't notice it, but it kind of just adds that extra zing of green and that extra zing of freshness. I can't really get the cardamom. I don't normally smell cardamom, but I think there is kind of like a hint of spice in there, which just kind of makes it, again, a little bit more zingy. That is kind of the word I would describe this perfume, just kind of green, fresh, zesty, lemony, and very zingy. It just is like, it zings. It has a zing. Oh, I love it. And that green fig, it's just really milky and green and leafy and lovely and oh, so good. It's so good. Like it really, it has this cleanness, it has this translucency, but it also really does pack a punch. Do you know what I mean? And it, it is very unisex. Like on my skin, I really do smell that lemon. I really do smell that fig. But there is also kind of like a muskiness, which is really pretty. And it's like kind of, you know, just that little, little touch of femininity in there. However, on a man, I think you get kind of like slightly more cream notes, slightly more vetiver, slightly more almost leathery notes. I'm gonna spritz some more because I love it so much. It's so beautiful. Oh, it's so zingy, it's so zingy. Oh, I love it, it's so beautiful. So like I say, you can wear it alone or you can layer it up with other fragrances. I would personally say wear it alone, it's beautiful. But I think if I was gonna pair it with anything, I'd probably pair it with the suede oud because it would just give a little bit more richness, a little bit more depth. Maybe make it a little bit more long lasting as well because by nature, lemon, <laughs> lemon and fig, they don't generally last all day. And I would say you get more kind of like four to six hours wear with this one as opposed to like eight to 10 hours. So maybe if you mix it with the suede oud, you'd get that a little bit longer. But like I say, it's very hard to find a fig fragrance which really does linger for like all day long because it, it is just a fragrance accord which disperses really quickly. It's such a shame, but but quite frankly, I love I love fig so much that I want I want it more. I want the fig more than I need the long lastingness. Do you know what I mean? But oh, I just love it. It's so beautiful. It's so clean. It's so fresh. It's so zingy. It's so exciting. And it's just like such an untold treasure of, I don't know, the fig world, quite frankly. Everybody talks about fig and they talk about diptyque. They talk about Miller Harris, which is also, they do a very good fig, fig fragrance. <laughs> also they talk about Miller Harris. They do a very good fig fragrance. It is beautiful. Also Shea and Blue, obviously do a great fig fragrance, but mm, I can't say fig fragrance like more than once. Um, but yes, there are a lot of lovely fig fragrances on the market, but I really think this one is really special and it's such an untold treasure that people just don't talk about enough. Also, I do think Clean Reserve are just a lovely, lovely, lovely fragrance brand. I really enjoy their perfumes. They have a, I think it's called Smoked Vetiver, which is also gorgeous. Suede Oud is also beautiful. They have one called Rain, which I like, but I think is a little bit too soft and watery and minimal for me. But if you do like kind of a very soft, watery, lovely kind of, if you're a fan of Jo Malone's Sea Salt and Wood Sage, I think you might like the rain. But for me, it's a bit too wishy-washy, but it's lovely. I'm trying to think what else I really like from them. <gasps> They've got one called Sweetbriar. Let me find out. They've got one called Sweetbriar and Moss, which is so beautiful. That's got a lot of rose in, it's got a lot of green notes, it's really pretty. I'll discuss that one soon, I'll do another video. And yeah, they're just a lovely, 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 sustainable, clean, refreshing, natural, wonderful fragrance brand. If you don't know them, go look them up. You can find them in Space NK. I personally love Citron Fig, it's one of my favorites. If you love fig fragrances, I think you'll like this one. It's a really lovely twist on the fig. I love the freshness of the lemon. And I don't know, there's just something about it which I think is really, really, really special. And that's why I wanted to do a video about it. And I feel like I rambled on about it for so long, but it's just such, 
a lovely fresh lemony green milky fig fragrance which i really 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 do love the only thing i would say is it doesn't last all day but then no fig fragrance really lasts all day um, but it, i'm sure if you mixed it with the suede oud it would actually have a better longevity um but yeah i think it's amazing that or just like re-spritz keep enjoying it like go wild with the additional spritzes like you know have that midday mist which I think just peps up your spirits anyway. I love a midday mist. Yeah, I think it just brightens up my afternoon. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, that is my video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like it. If you want to buy the perfume, there is a shopping link below. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, please do let me know. If you know the brand Clean Reserve, have a chat to me about it. I really love them. And I'd love to know what your thoughts are on them and which are your favorite fragrances from the brand. And if you don't know them and you want to ask me any questions, please feel free and yeah it was lovely to see you also if you haven't subscribed please do hit that button it would be very nice to see you again thank you very much goodbye <laughs>